This highlight video is part 3 of the stream. I advise you to watch the first part and the second part after that of this stream. I try to think back to all the home remedies that my mom used on me. Let me get a towel to put on your forehead. I assume there are some in the closet here. I go to open the door to the closet one. Sayori screams out to the best of her ability anyway. No, don't go in there! I turn back confused. I mean, the towels are all in my bathroom. <laughs> she seemed a bit enthusiastic about telling me that, I, that information. So much so that it overrode her sickness. I decided it'd be better for both of us if I don't think about the contents of this closet. I have uh, two things, either sticks and holes or the the yes, the doors with two holes. <laughs> wow, that's that's something. The nose with the two holes. I go to the bathroom and soak the towel in cold water. I come back and cover her head with the towel. Mm, thank you, Robin. You're welcome. Hey, should I make you something to eat? You know, I could never say no to food. Alright, let me see if you have anything downstairs then. I go downstairs to her living room and also... So why is this? It's just flipped. Now that I'm awake enough to, be, to observe it, something about seems familiar. Uh, it's probably nothing. I go into her kitchen. Which also looks strangely familiar. Huh. Anyway, I open up her cabinets and see some chicken soup. Should I re really give this to someone with a fever? Eh, it will be fine. As we watch the show, I notice that she doesn't seem to be paying attention. She seems to be thinking about something. She looks kinda happy. I decide to finally stop crushing and just ask. Hey, Sayori. Yeah, Roman. Are you doing okay? Oh yeah, I'm doing just fine, don't worry. Sayori, I don't think I can believe you. You haven't been paying attention to the show at all. We need to watch, we need to watch Strike Ball C. Okay? Every episode. We only are at the beginning, so pay attention. I I should make this, I should have made this joke with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. That would be better. You need to tell me what you've been thinking about, uh, thinking about. Or do you want me to stop hugging you? No, please no, don't. Sierra holds me tighter than she has ever be ever as before. Please, leave. I won't, I won't. But please explain to me what's going on. Sierra, Sierra thinks for a moment. He lets out a huge, huge sigh. Roman, the grand clothes haven't gone away. I still feel pain every time I wake up. It hurts so much, I'm forcing myself to get up every day. My heart plummets when I hear this. I haven't exactly forgotten that she deals with depression. But it's hard to tell with how happy she looks and sounds. Sayori, I'm so sorry. I should have known better than to friend to get up. No, it's not your fault. The reason I say is, I say it is. That's the reason why I force myself to get up every morning. A reason why I can deal with the pain I feel. Because of school? Of course not. <laughs> I do it because of you. But me? You get up because of me? Of course. When I struggle to get up out of bed, I just think of how you're going to be there at school waiting for me. I think of what's going on going to happen on Sunday. I think of how happy it makes me to be with you, even at my lowest points, when I feel like the ending it all. Like before the festival? My thoughts of you keep me from dangerous things like this. I guess you could say you're the reason I'm alive. Hearing this stuns me. I'm the reason she's alive. Sayori, thank you for not ending your own life. Oh no, don't thank me, Rob. You're the reason I didn't do it. You should be thanking yourself. I have no idea what to think. Sayori could have died. And yet she's alive. Thanks to me. I probably dies because of you. <laughs> Robin? Yeah, Sayori? I 
love you. My heart starts to beat frantically. I would love you so much, so, so much. I, I love you till the end of the universe. I, I love you too, Sayori. I'm so glad that I was the reason you didn't do anything rash. I don't know what I could have done if you were gone. Wow, just gotta restart the game. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Really? Of course. Ever since we were kids, I've always loved you. I wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right if you weren't here with me. Things just wouldn't be the same. You've loved me for that long? Yes, I have. And that love, I feel, has never gone away. Not even slightly. You've loved me for that long? I guess I have as well. I just never realized it. I've always wanted to do something for a while as well. Oh, what's that? She suddenly springs up and kisses me on my lips. I can't get caught by surprise. Sayori usually isn't this forward. <coughs> I slowly ease into it, however. Her lips taste like strawberry. And I, and my mouth just, my brain just Italy, instantly just strawberry. Strawberry juice. Did she take the time to put on lip gloss? I can tell Sayori is really into it. Her eyes are closed and her breathing is shallow. I can hear her make small noises. I put my arms around Sayori and start to push my body against hers. This feels incredible. We finally release, catching out our breath. She looks at me and smiles. I smiled back. I could get behind doing this for a million years. That would be amazing. It's too bad we can't live that long. You don't think we can live for that long? Well, of course not. What if we can? Sarah so gets closer to me. The look she gives, she's giving some things off about it. Hey, Roman. We are on your bed. So say you're Maybe can put what you taught me to good use. I like the only. I go. What did Yuri teach her? If she brings out the knife, I'm gonna just wish with the knife and throw it into the lake. <laughs> and if it's the pen, that as as at at. Well, there, there's sticks and holes. <laughs> fish you. Just fish you. And to be continued. Well, that was for days. <laughs> What the fish was that? What the fish was that? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe for future videos. And until next time, you're the Erman.